Hello, this is James from illogics.com, and this is a review of the version 2 uh, software update for the Smart Q5. Okay, as you can see, the uh, first review I had was actually on version 1 software. Uh, this is the version 2. Uh, there's a couple of significant changes with this version. One is you'll see the background uh, is different. Uh, the other thing is this mouse, uh, this mouse icon, which you can see. Okay. Um, the menu system is a little different. There are uh, the video player. It's actually a little better. Uh, than it was before. The other thing you'll notice is they have this uh, task button that will pop up so you know that you initiated the task. Um, this is a, uh, I converted this one myself so there are some, uh, the text up at the top of the media player aren't correct just yet. The other thing you'll notice is the uh, screen power management is a little more efficient. File, open, You'll see it's in different format. Close that. Actually, I open up several. And here's my radio file. We expand it out. Now this is a 640 by 480, uh, 1.1 megabit per second uh, video. Um, so it's kind of kind of hardware intensive, but uh, seems to play. You know, it's a little choppy, but uh, as this Mark Q5 develops, the, the uh, video playback will very well increase. Let me stop that. Close the program. Close this. I haven't figured out a uh, an English conversion yet for the uh, SM player, but uh, as you can see, the uh, the menu structure is different. Let me open up a web browser so you can see the uh, web browser. Maximize it. This is the manufacturer's website um, where you can find updates and whatnot. Let me put in an IP address. Now the keyboard, uh, after doing the English conversion, the keyboard is actually missing a few icons as you can tell. Thanks, face. Enter. As you can see, the web browser moves rather, rather fast. You move the keyboard. Um, it still does not play flash media. Um, check the version about. This is the Midori web browser, version 1.06. 
Uh, still doesn't play flash media um, and still needs a little bit of work, um, but it is coming along nicely. Uh, one thing you'll notice is the shadowing. I don't know if you can really tell, but it looks as though they're attempting to use or are using OpenGL already. We'll put it over here. Menu. You can see it actually moves uh, a little smoother too uh, versus the previous OS. Now, mind you, they they've come up with two firmware revisions within say two months. Um, so, as far as performance compared to like the the Nokia series products, which seem to have an update maybe once every six months. Uh, they are moving rather fast to get this product up up and ready to go. Um, let me close this out. Now there are some applications which are still in Chinese um, after the language conversion. I'm still working on trying to figure out how to convert those. As you can see. Let me close that. But all in all, it's pretty pretty decent. Uh, the shutdown menu, enable Bluetooth and hosting. As we know, is the Bluetooth adapter in this device is actually a U USB Bluetooth. So when you enable the USB host bus, that's when the Bluetooth is actually enabled. Um, it's tied in as well in there. Mm. Okay, let's look at TAS. This is TAS Manager. As you can see, I'm running Mac CPU. Memory is decent, uh, depending on the application it's running. Uh, I have yet to do some updates for it, so it's still a work in progress, but it is definitely coming along nicely. Okay, and as you can see, the uh, this is screen calibration. It's still in Chinese as well. Do a shutdown. And quit. Oh, sorry. Power. Click yes. As you can see, it, its performance has relatively increased a lot since version 1.0. This is version uh, 2.1. Uh, I was using 2.0 previously. This is James at, at illogics.com. Um, if you need any support or have any questions, visit my forum. It's illogics.com forward slash forum. Thank you. Bye.